Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox the Habit HV-H2188D gaming headset with vibration and LED, take a close up look, plug it in and see it work. So let's, let's take a look around the outside of the box. So as you can see, it's a Habit Magic Eagle series gaming product, and it's a headphone with microphone. And it has LED lights, as well as vibration that works for both games and music. So here are the product specifications and details. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up the box. And let's slide the tray out. Make sure there's nothing else in the box. Okay, so let's put the box aside. And on the underside of the tray, there are a few bits and bobs, so let's slide them across. And let's go ahead and look at these items first. Okay, so there is a user manual for the gaming headset. So once again, we see the product features and specifications. Okay, so let's put that aside. And over here we have a Havid card here. So it's a product warranty card. And this is a customer or product satisfaction card. So it's always nice to see these things because you know the business is concerned to make sure that you're happy with your product. Okay, so that's the headset taken out from the tray. So this is slightly similar to a previous Habit headset that I've reviewed or unboxed. But this one has vibration and the housing around the ear cups are different. But the beam and the foam headband here are very similar in design. So let's take a close-up look at the headset. So you can see there's a nice cushy foam headband there and with these two beams it allows for plenty of expansion so it's going to suit pretty much any size head So we're taking a close-up look at the ear cup housings and the inside as well. And they have a soft, cushy foam around the ear cups. So it's not memory foam, it's just regular foam, but it's nice and thick. And of course we have the microphone here. And it's nice and flexible, so you can kind of put it out the way or position it for maximum reception so 
just trying to get a focus on the microphone. And on the back side of the headset, there is a volume rotary dial here. And then there is a button up here. And that is for turning on or off the vibrator. And of course, let's take a look at the other end of the cable. So we have a pair of 3.5 millimeter plugs here. So you have one for the headphones and one for the microphone. And it's nice to see that they're both gold plated. And of course the cord as well. It's nice and braided. So it, it is a fabric braid. And there is also a USB plug there. And the USB plug is also gold plated and provides power to the LED light. And I believe for the vibrator as well. Okay, so let me undo this cable tie here to show you the length of the cable. Okay, so as you can see, it is a very long run of cable. Just trying to get the cable and headphone in the entire frame there. So there we go. So that gives you an idea. Okay, so now let's go ahead and plug the headset into the Alienware M17XR3 here, my trusty old M17XR3. And straight away you can see that the LED light has come on on the headset. So it's nice and bright. And of course, I have plugged it in on the wrong side of the laptop because I need to plug in the audio plugs as well just so we can get a demonstration of the vibration. So let me reinsert it onto the other side. And insert the audio cables in. And there we go. So you can see it's nice and bright and stays a solid blue there. So there are no effects so far as we can see with this model of uh, headset here. Okay, so let's go ahead and play a track and see what happens. So right now I've just started playing a music video and you can hear the audio coming through and I can feel the vibration on the headset. It's very, it's a very 
low vibration, very gentle. So let's go ahead and crank the volume up on here. And obviously you're not going to be able to hear it, but there is an almost near constant vibration as the music plays. And it's still vibrating, so let me press on the vibration button on the side. And right now it's completely off in terms of uh, the vibration there. And let's turn it back on. And straight away it's vibrating again. So that gives you an idea. It's not a sort of one-off or occasional vibration. It's a near constant one, but obviously it may vary with the type of music that you're playing back or the type of game that you're playing as well. Okay, so there's one other thing that I've noticed is that the vibration does respond to the volume setting of the music that's being played. So if I do raise the volume on the uh, music playback right now of the music video, the vibration does get stronger, but you're not obviously going to hear that or see that in action but I can feel it in my hand and the vibration is quite strong right now but if I were to lower the volume it does get gentler so that's the Havit HV-H2188D gaming headset with vibration and LED thanks for watching and happy gaming